How's going everyone? Welcome back. So are you getting this? Unable to set up your face ID on iPhone and it says there's a problem setting up your biometric authentications on this device. If you ever encountered this problem on your iPhone, then here's how you can solve it. Now before we start, there's a one important setting that you guys really want to turn up on your iPhone. Simply head over to the settings here. You want to scroll down to that so privacy and security here and scroll down to the bottom and you'll be able to see this option called a stolen device protection. So make sure to disable this feature. Sometimes turning off this feature can take about an hour, but disable this, this will actually help. Now after this process, all you want to do, you want to just scroll up and open up your accessibility here and you will be able to see this option called Face ID and Attention. Select that and make sure these three settings are enabled. If these are disabled, just simply, if these are already enabled, turn them off and turn them back again. Hope that will help you to solve your problems all over again. Hope that will help you to solve your problems on iPhone. The next things we are going to take a look at is uh, the one important settings for your Face ID itself. Just head over to the settings on iPhone, scroll down and select that Face ID and passcode. Put your passcode right here and you want to scroll down here. Simply select uh, and set up an alternative appearance. Sometime this can actually be useful to solve your problems. If you see, well, this is not even working as you might expect, then you can simply select the Reset Face ID. You gotta simply tap Reset Face ID, just reset your Face ID entirely and reset up your Face ID all over again to solve your problems. Now, after that, most likely the problem is going to be solved. But if you see still you have problems, the next thing that you have to do is go to your settings on your iPhone and now you wanna scroll down to the general and select the software update. Now, if you found if there's new software available, I highly recommend you guys just go ahead and update your software to the latest software versions. After that, your problem is going to be solved. Still have a question? Please let me know in the comment section, guys. See you all around.